Dear students, welcome once again to my channel. Hope you are in sound health at home. See, there has been no video from me on my channel since a long day in English language regarding grammatical topic. So today I am going to make the compensation for all of you. So let's start the class on a grammatical topic narration. Let us at first we must know the definition of uh, narration. See, how have I written regarding the very definition of narration? We all know that language is the medium of communication among us. Actually, we uh, communicate with others based on our own mother tongue or our language. Okay, people have to report speech messages in different ways. A reporter or speaker can present his speech in two ways. The way of presentation of one speech is called narration. Simply saying how the speaker or reporter presents the speech. It is called narration. Narration is of two kinds. These are direct speech and indirect speech as it is promised by me or as the caption tells us that we have to discuss the very characteristic features of direct speech and also the very definition of direct speech and indirect speech. Definition of direct speech when we quote the actual words of the speaker, actual words of the speaker or reporter, it is called direct speech. Example, the man said, we are Indians. The teacher says, man is mortal. My father said, why are you so late? In the very sentences or in the very three sentences, we are Indians, man is mortal, why are you so late? Are all these uh, quoted and these are reported by the speaker, the man, the teacher, my father, respectively. So, these all are given in direct speech. As we have already given the very definition of direct speech, when we quote the actual words of the speaker or reporter, it is called direct speech. Next one, features of direct speech. Actually, what are the characteristics of a direct speech? Generally, the very first one is reporter or speaker. One who reports or presents the speech or the actual words is the reporter or speaker. Actually, one who reports, one who presents, one who reports, is called the reporter. Next one, the reporting verb. The verb which is used by the reporter to report the actual speech is called the reporting verb. One verb is used um, to report the very speech and the verb is called reporting verb. Remember, in case of dialogue or conversation, reporting verbs are left out. Suppose a uh, conversation is between Ram and Sham. Ram, then there will be a colon. Ram said, why are you late? then Sam will give that Sam, then colon. In that case, there will be no reporting verb. Uh, there is no reporting verb. Next. Okay. Next one, reported speech. The speech which, which is reported by the reporter is called reported. Is called the reported speech. There will be a, the, the reported speech. Actually, what the speaker reports actually the actual sentence and based on the very sentence we have to transform the narration because according to meaning uh, we have already come to know that sentence is of five kinds and uh, you have to know the five separate rules in the next videos regarding narration or regarding the change of narration next one generally the reported speech is within the double inverted comma yes the very speech will be uh, delivered by the reporter actually in the direct speech uh, must have inverted must have within double inverted comma a comma is used after the reporting verb it's a um, common rule of all direct speech but it is exceptional also the first letter of the first word in the reported speech must be capitalize actually you have to use the capital letter when you are going to uh, start the very reported speech actually the very first letter of the first word must be capitalized it is uh, said here let's see all the above in the following Trump said we are English that's when in the very first sentence Tom Tom is the reporter speaker said is the reporting verb because we are English this is the reported speech and the verb said is used to report the speech we are english we are english it is the reported speech because the reporter or the speaker tom reports this reports this sentence we are english and the 
whole report space within the double inverted comma and as it said by me and as it said by me that after the reporting verb there will be a comma yes there is also a comma my mother says do your homework my mother is the reporter says is the reporting verb do your homework regularly it is the reported space the reported space within the double inverted comma yes it is also fulfilled here and after the reporting verb there is no uh, comma and the very first letter do uh, word is do and the letter is d d is capitalized here rabina said why are you running rabina said why are you running rabina is the speaker or reporter here said is the reporting verb why are you running the very portion the quoted portion is reporter space and it is within double inverted comma and w is also capitalized next one indirect space when we report the actual words of the speaker without putting this it is there will be is there will be an is i says it is called indirect speech remember at the end of indirect speech there will be a full stop always when you are uh, going to transform an assertive one or interrogative one or imperative one objective one or exclamatory also at the end of the changed one there will be a full stop or you have to use full stop always okay example the man asked why my name uh, the man asked what my name was my father my mother forbade to run in the sun my mother forbade to run in the sun i say that i love my motherland all the very three sentences are given in indirect swiss and at the end of the all sentences there is a full stop hope this very video is helpful for all of you if you are new on my channel please subscribe english academy devashish channel don't forget to comment don't forget to make comments like and share stay with me to get the second class on the grammatical topic narration thank you all